148 out of 400. What do you think about that painting? Never been here before, uh, so we'll take you up here. We're going to see the ocean. Here we go. On the bike with the family, on a road trip. What more can you ask for? Stopped here at the uh, gas station. I don't know exactly where we are, but let me show you the bike. There's my uncle with his bike all packed up, looking good. as daddy. We about to get back on it again. So we're leaving the gas station. Uh, the young lady at the gas station said it was Springdale. We're in Springdale not far from our destination oh man I, I hate getting behind those trucks we were behind those trucks a long distance so hopefully we can maybe they might turn off or something who knows we're gonna be going on this road and then we're gonna turn on to uh, 74 we're getting back on 87 right here in just a minute here we go ready Piggly Wiggly, I ain't seen one of them in years. Okay guys, we were going 87, then it said uh, that we have to go on a detour, we had to turn left. It's taking us on old 87. And if you ride motorcycles, there's nothing better than riding old anything. I love when you had the main road, and then you have the old road that used to be the main road. So the 87 detour, so we got to go back, I guess, and then this way, oh well, we should have just stayed on old 87, that would have been fun. Look at that, what is that? Oh, they're turning that stuff into mulch or something? Alligator Creek. Oh, there any gators in there. I'd like to see one. All right, so we're turning off Riceville Beach. You can see what the navigation looks like right here. For some reason, my audio is turned down on the navigation. I turned it down by accident. Um, we're going to be getting on to North Carolina 133. I have been just cruising. So, when I tell you my gas mileage, it's unbelievable. Oh, look at that battleship. Oh, sorry guys, I get excited about stuff. <laughs> I'll probably edit that out. Okay. Oh, my gas mileage, I filled up and I still have 201 miles. This thing has just been sipping gas. That's the difference between riding with myself, by myself, and riding with my dad and uh, my uncle. Well, not really. Kind of where we was riding and how we was, we was just taking it easy, man. I had this thing locked on 60 miles per hour in six gear, and it, it's just, just it's running as smooth as a sewing machine. Okay, 218 yards, we'll be making a right. Welcome to Wilmington. And 612 yards, we'll be making a right. Going across the drawbridge. Look at this. 281 yards making a right yeah we're not far at all not far at all okay guys so we're leaving right now we are on our way to Wrightsville Beach dropped off everything at the cabin and we're headed to Wrightsville and then uh, over to Carolina Beach to get something to eat but that'd be a good place for them to eat fish house grill Ok 
Okay, so we made it. Riceville Beach. Straight ahead. Okay, so that sign just said strict speed and noise ordinance ahead. I, I don't... I can help the speed, but... I don't know what they want me to do. Oh, look at that bulldog. I don't know what they want me to do about the about the pipes. I guess I'll just take it easy. Man, this is nice. This is nice over here, ain't it? Okay, so this is like the beachfront road here. So this is Riceville Beach, guys. Little beach town in North Carolina. Okay, guys, so we um, got separated by a red light we're headed my uncle he passed us we pulled over for him and he passed us so uh we're going to uh find him and we're on our way to carolina beach now so i've been to carolina beach before and that that was really fun uh wrightsville beach i didn't really see a lot there It'd be a good place to rent a house but there wasn't a lot going on and Again, I probably didn't see a lot of it. But anyway, we came here for Carolina Beach, and that's where we're going. So I'll see you there in just a moment. We'll find my uncle. He's supposed to be going to the restaurant that uh, we ate at one time before. Okay, guys, there's a sign that says, Welcome to Carolina Beach, which I just passed back there a second ago. There's a scooter that's waving him. Uh, and we're going over the water headed down to Carolina Beach now we're gonna go to this restaurant where they can eat fish I don't eat fish I know when you're at the beach you know most people are gonna want seafood so I'll just make the sacrifice and eat some chicken wings which they were pretty good last time that's exactly what I got last time hopefully they're still open if not, we'll find something else. But I don't want to be that guy that comes to a place like the beach and end up eating something that I can get at home. found it. I missed my turn, but we found it. Alright guys, so we made it to Bowman's. Bowman's Seafood Restaurant. Let's go check it out. Well, I am not eating here at this restaurant because they said they only have takeout after four. And it is after four. So they're getting something to go and just gonna sit down somewhere at the beach and eat it and I'm gonna see what else is around. Pop diner and wings. I gotta put the mask on to go inside here. Best burger on the beach. And it sounds a delicious homemade dessert. Let's go to try it. Let's go in and see what they have. Oh, look at the size of this hot dog there. This thing is huge. French fries, they're delicious. Hot dog's great. So yeah, two thumbs up. I want to lay down and go to sleep after eating that much. The hot dog was great. The fries was great. Right here at Carolina Beach, Pops Hot Dogs. All right, guys. See you in a minute. So that's the fire right there. So that's what we're doing. We're just sitting out here. It's 
So this is a nice campground. You can see all the lights here. And there's a pool there, which it's a little too cold to get in the pool. It got up to like 76 today, but still for me, 76 is way too cool to be getting in the pool. On the bike with the family, on a road trip, what more can you ask for? It's day two and I skipped a whole bunch of the morning time. We met up with some friends who was, uh, it's been years since we've seen them. My dad's friend, my childhood friends, parents. We saw them today and it was an awesome time. But uh, there's the bikes right there. We're all, uh, we ate with them and then we came and rode down to uh, Top Sail, which is pretty cool to be here. Never been here before. Uh, so we'll take you up here. We're going to see the ocean. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Look how, look at what this water looks like. Yeah, I'm coming back here. Okay, been here two seconds and I'm coming back. I'm telling you right now, I'm coming back here. Look how, look at that water. Look at this. Up here. It's beautiful out here. All right, let me go get my camera and take a picture. It is beautiful here. This is Surf City, North Carolina. Surf City. Yeah. You go about a mile, and then you'll be on the island over there. Oh, yeah. You can run that whole island. Yeah. All the way down to Morehead City. All right, man. Thank you. Thank you. Uh huh. Look at the bikes shining in the sun. Those things are looking good right there. I'm gonna take you to cut. Tip that one. You turn the rock to my phone. It won't. Fresh squeezed orange aid over there. Look at that. Behind you. I guess that's orange lemonade. I bet that is good. All right, we're gonna have to get on the bikes and go riding, guys. See you in a minute. So, I'm on my way down the highway. I think it's Highway 210. And uh, we're just gonna take a little cruise down the road. Didn't get a chance to try that hot dog place right there, but I had a hot dog yesterday, but they, they have hot dogs and real lemonade. You ready? When you have hot dogs and real lemonade, you have to stop, right? But, oh well. <laughs> you guys, I may be giving you guys the wrong impression because I'm always talking about eating. So you might think I'm a little greedy. Well, you wouldn't be wrong. I like to eat. Okay guys, so we are leaving. Surf City, and we're going over the Atlantic Causeway. Look at the sailboat down there. On our way to the Harley Davidson dealership. It's in uh, Camp Lejeune. Camp Lejeune, Harley Davidson, where we'll be going to. I enjoyed that. That was really nice over there. So, anyway, about to pick up the pace a little bit and get to Camp Lejeune, Harley Davidson. Finally made it to. Uh Captain Lejeune Harley Davidson here and uh, we're about to go inside I'm gonna let you look around and see what you think about this dealership here uh, my dad and my uncle's already inside we're just gonna go take a look and see what's in there check it out first thing that I noticed when I came in look at this tree glide right here guys this thing is nice check that out this is the number is right here 148 out of 400 what do you think about that paint? Looks good. And it's my color. It has black on it. Yeah, not bad at all. Not bad. I think it's an awesome looking bike. And it's a special. It's not a CVO. It's a special. You see it has the upgraded boom audio on it. And the, uh, yeah, nice looking bike. Well, this 2021 is the first year that they made the special, well, with the Milwaukee 8, special with Chrome in 2021. And a couple things they changed this year. You got the little mustache um, engine guards. You got the uh, drop bag. Drop ba well, the drop bags, they had them last year. But you got the new badging on the front over here. The new, um, I can't remember those wheels, but they're contrast cut now again. You got, uh, they're far as performance stuff the computer is different the you know the ECM is not the same as it was in 20 and that one wasn't the same as it was 
and 19. But you, uh -uh. That's what I'm saying. And the center dash is completely different right here. You see this. Now they have it. That's different. There's no more gas filler there. You have this right there. So it's more CBO style. they got it in the... And the standard, the, yeah, the standard, they still have it like that. And then you have the RDRS in this one, you traction control and all those other different features that they have, hill assist. All right, guys, so let me show you around the rest of the dealership. Let's go upstairs, take a look, see what they got. They got some nice motor clothes. We're going to look up here. They got some clearance stuff all around. So it's a really nice dealership. You can see from up here. Give you a bird's eye view of what's going on. This is Miguel. You're on camera. This is Miguel. All right. So if you are at uh, Camp Lejeune Harley Davidson, come see this guy right here. All right. All right, guys. So we just left. Why is it trying to turn me around? 